Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard at the end of the day with two tiny little pans of colors left over, both of which I could add another color to and be pretty happy. And maybe that color will be gold in this one and whatever else will go in there. That looks, that looks pretty congealed, so I'm hoping I'm wrong about that. This other one can also have some gold and maybe some turquoise. And while I'm at it, probably all the other colors that were in there, which are the Venetian blue and the color shifting purple flash from folk art and maybe another little dollop of the green gold. And I like the turquoise in there, so I'm going to give myself a little more of that too. Okay, so I'm going to spread some paint. I'm going to put some magenta in here. Either that, or just make it so similar to the other one that it doesn't make any difference. I still want some magenta. My magenta has iridescent pearl fine in it. This is some 24 karat gold deco art that has some orange in it. And for some reason, I'm being called to black, and that's enamel. So we'll see what happens right now when I spread some paint. And I actually left myself... Hey, where are my glasses? There they are. I got them. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading tool I know of. Bar none. Definitely recommend them. Thinking I'd like to splash a little bit of gold in there after I pull that thing out. That's one of the nicest things about them is you can see the stuff that might happen to not belong in your paint. I don't usually work on a heavy layer of black, but it looks like I'm going to do it now because I put too much on there. I guess I was thinking my usual go-to are 16 by 20 inch canvases. I'm just going to touch that edge up with the paint left on my spatula as quickly as I can. Hopefully I've got an edge catcher around here somewhere. I think I probably do. I really just didn't want to see the canvas. These all seem to be a little bit warped today. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's the heat. Drag my finger down the edge. Drag the spatula down the edge. All right, so I'm almost ready. I say that, and then I, and then I like look at the spatula and I go like, "Look, there's paint on there. Why would you throw that in the bucket now?" <laughs> so I'm just tapping that spatula right off on my edges. I will probably make a mess on my tile. Oftentimes I will use my cottage cheese lids, and I could now if I decided to pull them down. <gasps> hey, it didn't go flying across the whole room, <laughs> just part of it. Uh, flying canvas. All right, so let's try that. Since we really don't want any more things flying across, sliding out of our hands. There's four of those. There's a swipe card. That might be an idea, you know that? I wanted to put some gold in here. Do you know what I haven't done for a long time? I haven't used the gold. From the tri-tip bottle. I'm going to grab an edge catcher. It's well used earlier today. I could still shovel. I'm sort of letting that paint rest in with the rest of the paint because I think it will refresh it. And they're so pretty. Makes me want some fresh and blue in this one though. Where'd it go? It's right here somewhere. I know it is. There it is. Just for a little bit of, yeah, just a little drama in there. I'll probably shovel those in a minute. You know what else I want? I want some white pearl. I call it white pearl. It's Anita's white metallic.
And there may come a time when I just leave this and tip it. I was going to swipe some of that. Got a little flow troll there. Maybe I'll swipe some of it and see what it looks like. Because there's a really pretty good chance that I'm going to tip this. Love the cells that that white metallic makes. I gotta use that paint up. <laughs> That's a great background. That'd be good for another dragon. I just did a dragon. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's take all the extra paint right off of that card. Scrape it off. All right, now it's time. I kind of want to do something I haven't done before to start with. And that would be just place some paint colors. until I run out. This is sort of based on the fact that when you walk away from colors that are left over, they reveal all kinds of really nice patterns. We can hope they do again. Can't be sure. The less I stir them up, more likely I am to get some good stripes. There is always the possibility of using chain, but I kind of like my background. I kind of want to tip that because I know that will that's a heavy, heavy piece and that'll tip downwards. I want to put that edge catcher right up here. Whoops, right under right under there. I just dipped my painting into. So there, you can see that that's running and that's beautiful. Wow. I'm not unhappy with that a bit. I got great cells in the background. I got beautiful colors. Probably got enough beautiful colors to do another painting in the other dish and I don't want to necessarily put them in here. But I said I would, so I will. I'd like to say I'm ribbon dribbling, but to a certain extent I'm glop dribbling. You cannot go wrong with beautiful colors. You just cannot. And once I have these up here, I could do all kinds of stuff to them. Not that I will, because I'm on a short schedule right at the moment. But I love not wasting my paint, especially when it's like this beautiful. And there's a lot of blue in there. Now as far as the other one goes, I could, what if, what could I do? I could take a scoop, yep. And just ribbon dribble. I'm probably going to have a lot more paint than I know what to do with on this. Let some of that go right over the edge. I'm not happy with that line straight up the center, so I'm going to have to do something about it. Like add more to it. <laughs> yeah, that was a solution. Not. The faster I pour, the more likely I am to get drips, which I'm actually thinking I might like right now. That is my last scoop of paint, so I need to figure out where I want that to go. And then if I still like what I've got, that one 
That one rope is kind of bugging me. So like I said, pretty colors can't go wrong. I think if I waggle it or drag it or carefully drag a few things which makes me think basting brush but I really don't need to basting brush. I don't need to do a whole lot of anything. This is just neato. <laughs> I said it. I admit it. I don't want to go too crazy. I've got some great colors and some fabulous patterns. Lots of cells in the background, just enough white to create some interest here and there. I don't think I need to do much of anything to this beyond what I've already done. The spatula is going in the bucket. I'm going to torch to release any bubbles, air bubbles that might be caught in the paint. I'm going to look at my edges really quickly and they seem to be mostly covered and if they're not, I've got plenty of paint and beautiful puddles all the way around and I can spare that. So I got to tell you guys, thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. Thank you for almost 87,000 subscribers as of today. Just a hundred and some out away. I love you guys tremendously. I have a crib sheet. I said thanks for the thumbs up. Look under the video for my email address in case you have an interest in purchasing a painting or making a reservation for a class at the house in Spring Hill. Also on the link tree right above my email address you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and a whole lot more such as Teespring which will take you to my Teespring store where all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts are. Also my Facebook groups are there. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is often where I post a video the night before or right before the midnight show. I may be changing to midnight shows because I noticed since they're sharing with us when people are watching me the most, most people seem to be watching me in the middle of the night, which is weird, but that's okay. It's par for the course. I've got a little tiny bit more paint. I don't really need to use it. I know this is kind of crazy, but it's okay with me. I love the colors. I'm happy with my patterns. I didn't add any spirals until right then. I might have to do a few more. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes, so if there's heavy paint on here, it will not crack while it's drying. And I am, this is my last painting for the day. I'm going to check one more time, tell you guys my website, as well as 1360 videos are available to you. The website is under the link tree. The, the videos are on all playlists, created playlists, and they're organized by genre and by the hundred. They're easy to navigate, and I hope you stop there. If you're looking for a channel with no commercials, my other channel is Phoenix Rising for Silbats L Art, and there are still no commercials there. And I welcome you. I need a few more subscribers before it becomes relevant anyway. And, uh, I'm going to take this out of the way because I don't think it's going to do anything but confuse people. Maybe the same with the rest of them. Probably make a mess on my tile, but that's all right. I can put that right on those. I will peel the paint off my cottage cheese lids at some point in time. And use it for a collage, which I did earlier yesterday. I kind of want to spray some white in there. Strangely enough, I could probably star those out. I wonder if I can do that. Better than I thought I could.
just a flick of the wrist. Why not? Perfect. Ha! I will see you guys anon. I'm sure I forgot to tell you stuff, but I'm not seeing any of it here. So you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, look for the exhibition video with the prizes for the monthly drawing on the end screens, and use PayPal and Patreon. Should you be so inclined to help me continue supporting the studio's endeavors to make videos? Lots of you have, and I really appreciate that since about 2000. 18 and uh, I can still use all the help I can get and I'm really glad you're here this looks like some very interesting universal event I'm not sure what it would be but I'm going to zoom in which is funny because that's about the time the end screens come up so look for that video for the exhibition video on the end screens it's in the last 20 seconds and know that I love you and hopefully I'll see you soon and tomorrow's video will be announced on the community board on YouTube. You can see my to my store there and don't forget about my playlists. And please can I have a thumbs up? Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye for now. See you later. See you sooner. See you soon. Bye. I know. I'm crazy. <laughs>